Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'm a do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of me, Nico the Sicko. Today I'm showcasing this build that I've made. It's an upscale from the previous asteroid miner, but this one's a large grid. It's got four hydrogen tanks, large ones, two large cargo, a small cargo, four reactors, and five drills. And they can carry quite a bit. I'll demonstrate on the asteroid in a bit, I'll just mine and then come back to you. As for the look, I think it looks pretty cool. The detail gone in. We've got some protection for the hydrogen tanks. Uh, you don't necessarily need this antenna, but I thought it just gives it a little bit of design. So I'll go ahead and build it for you. Or we can just download it from the blueprints and I'll put it on my workshop so let me just let's tell you what we'll do a bit of a maneuvering as you can see I'm just on a creative no mods so I'll only go 100 but just got the maneuvering let's fly around this asteroid for you Let's see if I can't damage it. It's got an ore detector on it somewhere. There you go. Right. I usually fly around it. Let's put some lights on. See now, I put some lights inside so it lights up. Gives it that cool spacey look. It's pretty cool. No, I don't want to damage it. This won't be much of a showcase, but you can see it's got the ability to move quite fast and nimbly around. The asteroid. It's pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna mine as much as I can with it, and I'll bring you back. All right. So, spent about what ten minutes mining that asteroid, and we got all these full. All the drills are full, and uh, you could fit some in here. You could just go bush and then mine again but let's just say for the sakes of max load is two million eight hundred and seventy thousand yeah that's about right so there you go doesn't really move well with the weight but you could get yourself back to where you need to go if you're not in a hurry it's got a lot of weight on it. These bat burners, they don't damage them the slopes there. So I'm gonna just slow down here and then we're gonna go check them. So there we go. Right. If you want to just go ahead and look in the comments section and the about, download it. Otherwise, the next scene is going to be me building it. Okay, so for this next part, I'm just going to build the guts and you can put the armor on how you want. Now, this is just a, basically a quick tutorial on how to make a small, large ship that's pretty easy to do and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the cockpit 
And then I did put everything I need on these, but this may take a, a little while. But this is a step by step. That's what I'm going for. So we're going to put small cargo underneath. I'm going to go with the drills. Just like so. Now we can put the nuclear reactors. Where are we? Where did I put them? Reactor. Is it small? Yes. So I'm going to put mine like that. I'm going to put it down because you can then access it from underneath. Um, I'm just going to put a conveyor like so. We could actually, you know what, to get some more weight, I'm going to get rid of that and we're going to put a small cargo. Where's that? Like so. And then we're going to move up to the large. Cargo. I'm just going to put 2b2. Just like that. <clears throat> now, with your H2 gens, you want quite a few of these because that's what's going to give you quick fuel. Did I put one or two or three? Three. Um, we may have to just play about with that because I think, yeah, they went like that. It's fine. One, two. Right, we're gonna get rid of that. So with these H twos, I'm gonna put two the same way, and then not only matters that comes through there, but if that tank breaks, you can have a bit of a trouble aren't you? So you can put them there like so now for the sakes of giving it some room and some armor we can put them there. I'm gonna put two here Hydrogens are all nice and level. Now we need some gyroscopes, we'll do that in a second. So, okay, I've got the wrong one. Hydrogen. I always pick the wrong one. Does anyone else do that? No. Put that onto the wrong one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back there. Look at that. Bad. There we go. Put them there, like so. Just like the other asteroid miner. the video if I'm going too quick. Uh, for the back thrusters you need to get your sail convey. You can either put a big tube con conveyor. You know what? I think a conveyor would have looked a little bit better. No, I don't think it would. We're going to keep to them. So that way, your back ones are here. Just like so. And now for your gyros. 
Um, it's quite heavy and long, so I would recommend putting a few on. And that is your guts. That is all you need. And that is pretty much it. It's just making the armor for this now, which isn't hard. All you want to do for your armor. Now, you don't have to watch the whole video, it's fine, I understand. I start with the small. like this just like so there's longer videos to watch Bosh him there. Now, if you want some structure, I found that if you leave gaps in your miners and you hit the ground with your drills a bit too hard, they kind they kind of break. So just put a block there. It's only a, an extra bit of weight. These just bosh him in there like that. Come to this one. Just like so. So yeah, it's easier to work from the front with your armor, just like so. Well, I find it is. So now we're going to put an armor on this here. Just going to give it some guts. <coughs> At this pace, I should suggest you put some lighting in. If you want it to glow like mine does. I'm going to go back to these slope 2 by 1 1. So far, this clip's only been 9 minutes, so we're looking at half an hour for a video, maybe? That's not so bad. Right, landing gear. Let's put that in before we forget, so no, do. Let's put that there. Did I put it here or here? No, it was there. Just like so, on that block. where you can get the half slab put in there I'm gonna put that like so I'm gonna come to 
this block. Just a normal block, so I'm going to go find the slopes. Just start filling in this bottom here. And the tops here. Again, what you want to do is fill in that area and that area, just to give it some stability. So if you hit the ground, it's not going to bow, break. Back to your slopes. Going back to the 2B111. Mm, can't actually do that, so let's go for the slopes here. Let's put these along here. Just to give it a little bit of armor. bottom Let's go ahead. Oh, actually, let's do it like that. Yeah, it was something like, you know, your builds are never the same. Now, what I was doing, and I'm not sure I really like the conveyors showing, but I'll put them there, blocks there, and we go back to these, put them there like so, just to cover the yellow. Beautiful. I'm going to do that back bit. <laughs> so like that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm going to go so like that. Now for the windows. Set. We put this here. You can have it either way you want. I'm just doing this so we've got the windows. We'll get to see that one there, how much hydrogen we've got left. I mean, it tells you in the cockpit anyway. It's a trial on Earth, what you 
want, isn't it? That looks a lot bit better, doesn't it? Right, let's go back to these. Right, now for this bat bit. It's pretty... Tricky situation with this to get it perfect. So I was just putting three along here. Then I was switching to this one. Yeah, I can't do that, so how I did it. I think I made. It is a bit flimsy, so basically. Put it on this first. And I went to a half. Put it like that. Just like that. So slope, half, back up to the slope, come around, flip it around, just like so. And now you can put these on. doesn't take long really why can't we put that on to place it, why? It's weird. Okay, so you've got to put it on the thruster first. It'll only go one way. underneath I'm going to give it some more structure I'm going to give it a tail just like so I think this one came out a little bit better let's go for a bit of interior lighting let's give it the the light it deserves. So I'm gonna go one, two, no. Don't do me like this. Yeah, bollocks. be able to get in there. You could have. Um, let's just do this. Because why not? Yeah, man. Um, let's go in here. Let's put some lighting in here. Some lighting in has some some 
blocks. Let me out. That's why it didn't connect, folks. One second. Okay, it was my bad, just because I deleted the tank, it then threw everything off. So, unfortunately, if that hydrogen tank breaks or the hydrogen thruster breaks, you're going to lose all this. But, it's just for the armor's sake, really, and you're not going to be taking this into battle, so let's continue. Let's put all these here. Coloring in now. Just going to put them there. Bosh. My one's probably a little different. Yeah, it is. We forgot the connector. Duh. Oh, that's a case of doing. It's always going to end up different if you're just free building. I didn't put them there. We went with them like so. And there we go. We're pretty much done. It's never going to look the same like I say. That's not too bad. Oh, I'll tell you what I did there. It's a little bit different. You see how I've put the slopes here. I mean, that looks okay. That one looks like it's more detailed anyway. And there we have it. It's pretty quick. Easy to make. And it looks better than a big boxy, crappy miner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. 
quick easy asteroid miner hydrogen nuclear uh, I'll put the green one in my workshop or if you want this one just write in the comments below I'll be happy to publish both of them ok the last touch put this in just put it in wherever you can and there we go we're done and this has been a step by step easy large grid ship asteroid miner or space miner whatever thanks everyone for watching i'll catch you guys in another peace